Smells have a stronger link to memory and emotion than any of the other senses, and neuroscience may know the reason why. We touched on the link between smell and memory in the first podcast we ever posted back in 2017. But today we thought we'd give a refresher on why smells trigger such vivid memories. And that was a long time ago. Yeah, we've been doing this a while. Yeah, it's been a minute. (laughs) Smells get processed kind of differently than your other senses. When you see, hear, touch, or taste something, that sensory information first heads to the thalamus. That's like your brain's relay station. The thalamus then sends that information to the relevant brain areas, including the hippocampus, which is responsible for memory, and the amygdala, which does the emotional processing. But with smells, it's different. Scents bypass the thalamus and go straight to the brain's smell center, which is known as the olfactory bulb. The olfactory bulb is directly connected to the amygdala and hippocampus, which might explain why the smell of something can so immediately trigger a detailed memory or even intense emotion. And in 2017, scientists discovered something even wilder about the processes that make odor-linked memories so vivid. The memories may be saved in a part of the olfactory bulb itself. The part responsible is a complex structure called the piriform cortex, The piriform cortex connects to all sorts of places in the brain, including a higher level structure called the orbitofrontal cortex. This structure is generally responsible for making judgments about sensory input. This sweater feels good. Touch it again. That weak old Chinese food smells off. Don't eat it. The researchers found that the piriform cortex is able to serve as an archive for long-term memories, but it needs instructions from the orbitofrontal cortex to let it know that an event should be stored as a long-term memory. So not only does your brain's smell center connect right to its memory center, but it also stores long-term memories in-house, which means that you should go ahead and take a nice long whiff of that old bottle of perfume or the paperbacks in that used bookstore. The memories that come flooding back to you are a happy side effect of the way your brain is wired.